Thank you for staying. Time now for the news. And in our first story, children below 18 can no longer be in control of canoes in the Fana community after nine children drowned in a boat accident there last week. This directive by the Great Accra Regional Minister Henry Quarter is one of other measures taken to avert another disaster after it emerged. The person rowing them was under 16 years old. Mr. Kwate led a delegation of government officials and security officials to mourn with family members as they bid farewell to their deceased relatives. It was a somber mood when the Great Accra Regional Minister Henry Corti arrived in Fana, the fishing community hit by tragedy. Grieving families, leaders and residents had gathered to receive him. Mr. Corti equally pained by the incident, had led a delegation of police officers, NADMO officials and representatives from the Greater Accra Regional Coordinating Council, not only to hear the account of the incident, but to also commiserate with the families. We are here, first of all, to commiserate with you and also to assess the situation for ourselves and then we will also tell you how we intend to go about it. With the consent of the grieving families, a decision to bury the deceased children on Sunday was sealed to respect the ban on drumming and dancing, which starts on Monday. Once the ban on drumming and noise making starts, uh, you are not allowed to bury. And so the Ghana police made it known to us that when situations or tragedies of this nature occurs, the states, being the security agencies, will perform the autopsy and other investigations, and they determine whether to release the body or bodies to the families. In this case, the police tells us that they have been able to do that. Now, they asked the parents whether they consent for the children to be given a befitting barrier before Monday, and indeed, as you heard, I mentioned their names one by one. I identified their parents and all of them, not under duress, and I repeat, not under duress, have willingly consented that their children be buried on Sunday. A canoe and light jackets will be provided for the children to avert another disaster. We have cautioned them that the canoes will not be used for fishing. And again, it cannot be owned by anybody. It is going to be managed by the two assemblies. But the assemblyman will be in charge of the day-to-day -day management of it. Again, going forward, in fact, we'll be bringing them some life jackets. Once we deliver the life jackets to them, the security and intelligence agencies, as part of the directives I've given them, to come up with recommendations the terms of reference will be the suitability of the area for habitation, the amenities that they need here, because indeed, they are all Ghanaians, and everybody deserves uh, good infrastructure, good amenities to be able to live comfortably in an environment. An ad hoc committee has also been set up to come up with solutions to other concerns of the community and report back in two weeks. For Joy News, Mami AC Nyameche Thompson.